in 1918, after the um, uh, huge, biggest pandemic, the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918, Steiner was asked, what was this all about? And he said, well, viruses are simply excretions of a toxic cell. Viruses are pieces of DNA or RNA with a few other proteins. They butt out from the cell. They happen when the cell is poisoned. So what happened in 1918? There was a huge, in every, every pandemic in the last 150 years, there was an, a quantum leap in the electrification of the Earth. In 1918, late, uh, late fall of 1917, there was the introduction of radio waves around the world. Whenever you expose any biological system to a new electromagnetic field, you poison it, you kill some, and the rest go into a kind of suspended animation so that, interestingly, they live a little bit longer and sicker. And then starts in World War II with the next pandemic with the introduction of radar equipment all over the Earth, blanketing the entire Earth in radar fields. First time humans have ever been exposed to that. In 1968, there was the Hong Kong flu, and it was the first time the Earth has a protective layer in the Van Allen belt, which essentially integrates the cosmic uh, fields from the sun and the Earth, from the moon and Jupiter, et cetera, integrates that and essentially distributes that to the living beings of the Earth. And we put satellites emitting radioactive frequencies in the Van Allen belt. Within six months, we had a new viral pandemic. Why viral? Because the people are poisoned, they excrete toxins, they look like viruses. People think it's, an, it's a flu epidemic. You can read about this in a book called The Invisible Rainbow by Arthur Furstenberg, who chronicles all the steps in the electrification of the Earth and how within six months there was a new flu pandemic all over the world. And when you invest, when you hear the normal uh, explanations, how did it go from Kansas to South Africa in two weeks? So the entire world got the symptoms at the same time, in spite of the fact that the mode of transportation was horseback and boats, and there's no explanation for it. They just say, we don't know how that happened. But when you think about it, with these radio waves and other frequencies that some of you have in your pocket and on your wrist, you can send a signal to Japan and it arrives instantaneously. So any of you who don't believe there is an electromagnetic field that communicates globally within seconds just is not paying attention to this. And I will only finish by pointing out that there has been a dramatic and quantum leap in the last six months with the electrification of the Earth. And I'm sure a lot of you know what that is. It's called 5G, where there now have 20,000 radiation-emitting satellites, just like the radiation-emitting thing in your pocket and on your wrist and that you use all the time. That is not compatible with health. I'm sorry to say it, it's not compatible with health. That is a water destructuring device. And for any of you who say, yeah, well, well, we're not electrical beings, we're just physical matter, then don't bother doing an EKG or an EEG or a nerve conduction test because we are electrical beings and the chemicals are only the byproduct of those electrical impulses. And I'll finish with anybody want to make one guess as to where the first completely blanketed 5G city in the world was. Exactly. So when you start thinking about this, we are in an existential crisis here, folks, the likes of which humankind has never seen. Uh, but this is something that is unprecedented. 
the, the putting of 100,000 satellites in the very blanket of the Earth. And that is a perfect storm for the kind of deterioration of the species, which is what we're now experiencing. In times when there were no electrical currents, when the air was not swarming with electrical influ influences, we're talking 1917, it was easier to be human. For this reason, in order to be human at all today, it is necessary to expend much stronger spiritual capacities than was necessary a century ago. So I'll just leave you with whatever you can do to increase your spiritual capacities because it's really damn hard to be human being these days. So thanks for listening. <laughs>